And Aliko Dangote, what he was saying about the um, the high interest rates. Just even President Tinubu said he wanted lower interest rates. But yeah. you can't get lower interest rates. Not in one inflation, you are fighting inflation, you are also raising interest rates. And then the uh, monetary policy, uh, sorry, uh, money supply is expanding. Do you know where we are now? 100 trillion. 100 trillion. Yeah, that's a big problem. So, yeah, and then they also announced they're going to give, I think it was how many billion to the manufacturing sector. You are handing out palliatives, you are doing all these things to expand fiscal policy, of course. But I'm honestly, you know, inflation is going to be high. Rates can't go down. I mean, that's a very great point because that's also fueling inflation. 100 trillion. The central bank has been trying to mop up all those money. But it's a big, big debacle. Is too much money in circulation the real cause of the Nigeria high rate of inflation? Categorically, the answer is no. Nigeria is facing cost push inflation. This means high cost of production, which is driven by government policy. The removal of waste subsidy, narrow devaluation, high custom duties, double taxation, and lastly, the high rate of VAT. But is providing palliative the way forward? No. Nigeria and Africa at large need to set the environment right for local investors to strive. The prosperity of a nation lies in the prosperity of its local industry. High interest rates make it difficult for local investors to fund large investments. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine Mr. John, a local investor, need a loan to expand his production plant. He approaches the bank for a loan of about 100 million at a monetary rate of return of about 26.25%. This means Mr. John has to pay a high interest rate to finance this loan. But how does this interest rate affect you as a Nigerian? That's what Dangote is telling the Nigeria personnel and his economic team who are following the IMS script and forgetting to think for their people. Right now, we are telling at 30%. There's no way anybody can create jobs. If interest rate is 30%, there won't be any job creation because we're actually stifling growth. So interest rate can remain 30, but then no growth will happen unless that interest rate goes down. All investors naturally want to make profits. That's the essence of going into business at first. But when the cost of running a business is so high, cost of material could not be adjusted, then they are forced to reduce cost of labor, leading to massive unemployment rates. This is another problem in the making. You are trying to solve a lesser problem or a problem that never even existed in the first place, or you end up creating a greater one. So why are Nigeria economic policy not yielding the desired results? Here is the annoying answer. Nigeria is copying European economic policies and the script handed over by the IMF and the World Bank. Just yesterday, the IMF was asking the government to remove fresh subsidy in its entirety and also increase electricity tariff. Whereas the society, there's no country in the world where government does not subsidize one product or the other, even in the most advanced capitalist societies. And that is why Nigerians must now begin to ask the government to discard and get this thing the deleterious programs and policies of the IMF and World Bank. Just last, no, last month, the IMF was accusing the British government of not investing enough in education and health. And my dear listener, that is just the root of the problem. Their policy recommendations are to impoverish Africa and to keep Africa under perpetual exploitation of the Western world and nothing else. They protect Western economy and losing African market for exploitation. White developed nations are encouraged to offer subsidy and provide single digit loan to their citizens to encourage economic growth and development. But what do African governments or leaders do? We increase our interest rates in the name of fighting inflation that was never caused by too much money chasing little goods. Well, this may work in some countries, but the point of this video is what worked in one environment doesn't necessarily work in another. Until Nigeria craft and implement policies that are tailored towards our unique economic landscape, we will continue to fix these challenges. Thanks for watching. Please, if you find this video insightful and thought provoking, hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more insightful and thought provoking videos.